Hey everyone, this is Joy Boy P. Today's video is not well, not so much unboxing anymore. Um, a review and test of the Acasa Apache Black fans, both the 12 and 14 centimeter variants. Unfortunately, I can't do this video at my standard um, style, uh, shall put it, uh, because um, how should I put it? Um, this video was initially recorded probably nearly two months ago now. And when I was copying from my camera to the computer into separate folders because I shot it, um, several videos in one day, I guess I skipped a part and since deleted the video. So, and now the fans, well, one of them is in my computer. So this is the reason why I've had to do it this way this time. Um, I'll now put some technical specifications up for you. Um, both, well, the both the 14 and 12 centimeter fans, as you can see, the BitPhoenix Spectre Pro, uh, sorry, BitPhoenix Spectre LED Blue, and the Aerocool um, Shark Red LED fan as well. Um, the spec and um, the specifications there uh, for all of them. Um, I don't test the red LED. Um, the Aerocool fan in this video. Um, there is another video which I'll link at the, um, in the description uh, uh, for you to see against the Bit Phoenix fans. So, um, without further ado, let's get into the video, shall we? So, here we have the two of them out of the box. You can see here the 12 and the 14. It does come, only the 12 one came with operating instructions. Uh, always handy to read. Um, I'm not really going to bother, it's only a fan. Now, I can confirm that. The um, 12 centimeter one only has a 30 um, centimeter cable compared to the 40 centimeters on the um, 12 on the 14 centimeter one. Um, one other difference between the two is that the connectors are a different color on the, the end of both of them. This one, the 14 ones, are beige color, and the 12 ones are brown. Um, they both have a slightly different braiding of the cable. Like here, um, it's more like a plastic braiding sort of thing. As this one, you can actually still see the um, the colour of the cables inside them when it's bent completely the wrong way. It's not the best braiding, but it's, at least it's something decent. And these are the anti-vibration screws, which I mentioned. Well, not really screws. You pull them through, and they kind of um, connect to them. So that's about it on these fans. Um, let's uh, hook them up to my system and see just see how loud they actually are. So here we have them both running at 100% um, speed. Um, you can hear them quite a bit, especially at 14. Um, it's not incredibly loud compared to a lot of fans that I've tested. Um, we'll be comparing it to this Bit Phoenix uh, Spectre LED, I think it is, Spectre Pro maybe. Um, leave an annotation on the screen uh, to exactly which one it is. I did do an unboxing video, which I'll leave in the description and on that annotation as well. Um, so, more on these. You can uh, just pick it up quickly so it's not vibrating. I'm holding the camera there about two inches away. Let's turn it away a bit. A bit sure. uh, about six inches. And about a foot there. And this one. Again, about two inches. See, it's really blowing on that bag over there. And now I'm about, about six inches away. And about a foot. So, this big one is a bit noisier in comparison. Let's turn them around quickly. Hopefully, without dropping them. Wow, that is one of the most powerful fans I've actually felt blow against me. speak up a little bit because the last time I did this um, it made a lot more noise on the microphone than I thought it would and um, I had to leave subtitles so yeah I'm holding it about six inches away you can hear roughly how strong that is and that has a good force behind it as well but this one is really powerful in comparison you can really feel the amount of air coming out of it and it has a lot of force behind it as well um, yeah so that is pretty good um, let's turn those down slightly 
Um, I'll be back in a moment. So now they're roughly around 80% power. Um, still um, particularly sh um, strong on the amount of airflow, considerably quieter now. They're about six inches away there. them down once more um, to 60% and let's see how loud they are then. So now we've got them down to 60% speed um, this one's really starting to struggle on the RPMs um, I don't think I'll get this one down much further without it actually stopping altogether. Um, so these are actually somewhat power hungry fans, you see that one's still going just fine so I guess I'll need to keep this one up a slightly higher voltage. Um, so yeah, holding it about 6 inches away once again starting to hear my system over the fans now. Still feel a slight breeze coming from it, it's nothing that powerful though. And this one's still got quite the force going behind it. I think this one's definitely much, much better. Still again about six inches away. I'll turn them up away now. So you don't hear it buffering against the microphone. Yeah, look how slowly that logo is spinning now. Let's see how far I can turn them down now. Um, so I'll be back in a moment. So 50% and the 12 centimeters only just about spinning now. Um, hold it about an inch to it now. I would recommend keeping this one probably about 70% or so. Keeping a decent RPM then and it's not really struggling. So I'd definitely say that this 12 centimeter one is very power hungry. Um, and this is the 14, holding it about an inch away there, move to about six inches. So they are now extremely quiet. I'm probably gonna keep this one around, uh, the 14 around 50% or so, 50, 60%. Um, higher if I need it. Um, this one will be fueling my, um, providing air to my triple rad at the top of my system, which would be an exhaust. So he's just getting that much, that bit more cooler air directly to that um, big rad, which would be cooling directly from my um, GPU. So let's see if I can turn them down a little bit more. But I think this one's going to cut out completely now at forty percent. So I'll be back in a moment. Yeah, as I thought, this one's just about cut out completely at 40%. You can see it keeps trying to turn every now and then. And I'm not going to keep it at this for very long. This one's still going fairly strong at 40%, actually. Um, it's doing slightly better than I thought it would. So I'm going to see how far I can actually take this one down. It's at about 6 inches there. I can actually well hear my system over this fan now. I can't even actually hear the fan now. I can just hear it rattling to get on my glass desk. So. Turn it around quickly, and still getting a really good airflow um, and pressure from it. You can feel the difference and hear it on the microphone itself. So I'll be back in a moment. See how low I can actually get this fan. I can only get this one, uh, the 14 centimeter one, down to 14 and um, to 30 percent before it gives up the ghost completely. Uh, tried 20 percent, but it was completely dead. Uh, about six inches away once again. And you can still feel the air coming out of it fairly well at this level. Um, it's not nowhere near as strong as it was at 40%, but see that it's really spinning slowly now. So I'm going to swap over to the 14 versus the this bit Phoenix one now, and um, we'll compare the two of them back in a moment. So I've got them both back up to maximum RPMs, that is blue, not purple, um, just the um, camera. Um, I'm saying, yeah, both of them back up to 100%. Um, let's turn them around and see what they're like. It's actually pushing itself backwards here. yourself roughly how loud that is. So 
it vibrating across my desk. Hopefully not gonna vibrate completely off. Might have to do something about that fan in a moment. So yeah, again about six inches, that's the back of it, so turn it around. Tricky handling fans which are on. You can definitely feel this one's a powerful fan. Um, might have to speak up a bit as uh, yeah, that fan is really walking across my desk. <laughs> so I'll turn them both down and be right back. So 100% uh, I'd say that um, the Akasa fan is actually slightly louder than these Bit Phoenix ones. But fortunately, it doesn't. Ha um, these Bit Phoenix ones don't have as high a static pressure. So that's the back of the fan once again, about six inches. Turn it round. Still six inches. Strong airflow coming from that. These Bit Phoenix ones, if I remember rightly, have higher airflow than this Akasa one. So these ones I'll be using on my radiator um, on a push pull um, on the top. This one still has a lot of airflow coming out of it. About six inches away. Yeah. Okay, turn down once again to 60%. So now they're both at 60%. Um, Move six inches away roughly. The back of the Akasa here. And flip it over. And about six inches away from the Bit Phoenix. Now this bit Phoenix, I must mention, has more shake to it. It is vibrating more in my hand. Uh, it might be just this fan in general. It has been used quite a bit. So. Say quite a bit for a good 100 or 200 hours or so. Uh, let's turn them down once again um, to 40% and see how they both are. They're both working still rather well at 40% power now. Um, as we both know, the castle only goes to about 30. I think the bit Phoenix goes to about 20, somewhere between 20 and 30%, so I won't go any lower. So, yeah, that's about 6% and um, 6 um, inches, 6%, sorry. So, Still getting a good airflow out of it, not much pressure. You can, I just feel a breeze blowing over my hand. And turn that back around. Yeah, about six inches. The fan is so quiet now. So I was wondering how loud it is when I stick my ear close to it. I can only hear it from about six inches, uh, about eight, nine inches away. Uh, I'm rather well at 40%. I do want to use them at a lower power usage rather than a higher one. So I've got them facing towards me now. You can definitely feel the higher volume of air coming out of this one than the Bit Phoenix, but you can feel. It isn't as much air, but there is blowing harder against my hand. So I'd say the Akasa wins at the lower RPMs compared to the Bit Phoenix, which wins at the higher RPMs. Slightly um, quieter at the higher RPMs, I found. And um, above uh, um, uh, uh, um, decibels, that is, sorry. Um, yeah, this one wins at decibels at the high RPMs, but this one wins at the lower RPMs when it comes to decibels. When it comes to the amount of airflow, this one has a slightly higher airflow, you can feel that, but this one has a better um, pressure with the airflow, which is better for your um, filters and so on. This will have a Dempsey Flex filter um, on it, and um, all my fans will do. So that's just about it for this unboxing review and sound test. Um, of the Akasa um, Apache Black 12 and 14 centimeter fans. 
Um, if you like this video, please leave a like. Um, please leave comments in the comment section below. Um, unfortunately, I don't actually have a decibel meter to actually um, do a decent test for all the fans. All I can do is let it blow against my microphone and let it let you hear how it sounds. Um, so yeah, that's about it for this video. This is Joy Boy P signing out. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos just like this one. <laughs>